Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. This is a great gift. Okay, get it. I mean, it's an awesome gift. So awesome. Wicket. Here. Of course, it's a, it's a gift for a dog, and let's face it, just about any gift you give a dog is an awesome gift. But not all gifts are awesome, and there are times that you may have to give a gift at the last minute, uh, and uh, the chances of you grabbing a, a really sucky last minute gift are pretty strong. And a couple of years ago, I wrote about uh, the top 10 best and worst last minute Christmas gifts. Had a look at the blog title again there. And I thought uh, that uh, these were just as relevant today as they were a couple of years ago and uh, quite possibly could pass along uh, some of my thinking uh, to see if we are of like mind with these last minute Christmas gifts or even just Christmas gifts in general or holiday gifts, birthday gifts, whatever. Last minute anything. So first we'll go with the, we'll accentuate the positive and go with the great last minute Christmas gifts. One rechargeable batteries with a charger. You got to make sure it comes with a charger. And uh, my pick this year, completely, you know, on my own volition, I've been using Energizer rechargeables for a few years now. In fact, I just bought this particular recharger tonight. It's a special unit that recharges uh, in 15 minutes. So I can have up to four AA's or four AAA's and recharge them all in 15 minutes. Great for Christmas morning because uh, you don't want to just unwrap something that needs rechargeable batteries and then have to wait, you know, four hours for the batteries to recharge. This also comes with a car adapter, so it's great for on the road as well. Number two, personal coupons for slave labor. Now, these are kind of fun. Uh, I've done them before for Ponzi, but luckily I set an expiration date and she forgot to use them. Woot! Number three, favorite of the month annual subscription. Not just a jelly of the month, there's coffee of the month. Of course, I recommend Pete's, and you know me. Uh, let's see here. Uh, wine, chocolate, any kind of food product. Uh, you think about it, and there's probably an annual subscription for it. And they can be attained online, which means you don't have to worry about going out to any kind of store to buy something. You can just get it on the Internet. Number four, full set of Mannheim Steamroller Christmas CDs and or DVDs. Uh, I love Mannheim Steamroller not just for their holiday music. I've loved Fresh Air. Uh, I remember being addicted, and one Christmas morning, all I wanted for Christmas was the Fresh Air Collection, one through seven. And I got them. Uh, Santa Claus delivered on CD. I didn't, I, not on cassette. I was young enough to uh, have one of those on CD. Or I guess old enough or young enough. Anyway, uh, number five. A Logitech Harmony Remote Control. Now, Logitech isn't really well known for their software, but their remote controls, at least in the Harmony series, are nice. You interface them with the computer. You type in exactly what kind of components you have. It programs a remote control. The remote control just works. You don't have to fumble with anything on the remote to get it to program right. You just connect it to your computer and work that way. And the software, I believe, is Java-based, so it should work with any operating system. Number six, binoculars. You never know, and, and the chances of someone having a pair of binoculars is not that strong. In fact, they even make binoculars that have uh, a digital camera built into them. So you can kind of, two birds with one stone. A set of binoculars is always good to have, even if you say, well, just throw it in your car. You never know when you're going to need it. You might be around, uh, out somewhere at an event, and you say, boy, I wish I had binoculars. Well, you do. It's in the car. Number seven, CB radios, or an emergency one for the car. And an ancillary tip to a CB radios or two CB radios when you're communicating with another person uh, over short distances, uh, of course, uh, is uh, uh, one that's set up specifically with, uh, I believe it's channel 9, the emergency channel. So if, if they're stranded or lost, uh, they could connect and, and possibly uh, get help uh, remotely. Um, you know, having a CB radio that can handle that is certainly uh, useful in emergency situations. And then uh, also... Uh, anything that electronic, like uh, it has to be something that winds up, not just battery powered, but something that you wind to charge up, like a flashlight or a radio, clock radio with a light on it. Uh, those are very, very helpful and, and very useful because you could always use them. Uh, that's the thing. You, you want to give them something that they, they could possibly use. Eight, this is kind of a fun one, noise-canceling headphones. You know, a headset that has noise canceling built in. Chances are they've got crappy earbuds, but what if they had noise cancelers instead? That's something they might appreciate. Number nine, a desktop weather station. Eh, 
You can set up by the door and see what it's like out outside. Seattle, haha, <laughs> it's crappy. Well, I'm, I'm not saying, I mean, during winter it's generally overcast, but I happen to like that weather. That's just me. Not that the weather station should say that. I, I wouldn't buy a weather station that, that actually had that word in it at all. <clears throat> Number nine, a high-capacity UPS. Now, that's not exactly a cheap gift, but if you're looking for a last-minute gift and you don't know what to give them, well, give them the gift of power. I mean, maybe they got an entertainment center that's just hooked up to a regular old surge suppressor, or maybe they have no UPS at all, didn't even know what a UPS was, giving them the gift of battery backup. Okay, so now that we've gone through the great last-minute Christmas gift ideas, and by the way, feel free to, to throw in your own best last-minute Christmas gift ideas. These are poor last-minute Christmas gifts. I mean, poor. Like, I mean, just tr trash gifts, just what were you thinking? You weren't thinking. You don't care anything about me. You obviously were shopping at the last second. Number one, McDonald's gift certificates. I keep telling you folks, that food's just not food. It's plastic. Sorry, McDonald's. Sorry, all you McDonald's addicts, Ponzi included. She likes her Happy Meals, her double cheeseburgers with her Big Mac sauce, but I refuse. Years before... Uh, most people had figured out that fast food wasn't really food. Sorry. McDonald's gift certificates? Come on! Gosh, even their salad has sugar in it. Number two, DVDs from the bargain bin. And it's obvious when you've purchased a DVD from the bargain bin. Now, I'm not talking about, you know, the, the total season of, uh, you know, House or, you know, the entire set of Friends or Monty Python's, you know, full disc set and everything. I'm talking like, you know, uh, Godzilla meets Chaco Stein Part 4. It was like, come on, dude. It's obviously, they, they probably paid you to take it out of the store. <clears throat> Number three, and yes, this has been given as a gift before, air freshener. That's a sucky gift. Number four, a plain old mouse, mouse pad, or keyboard. Eh. It's a mouse pad. I like my mouse. I like my keyboard. This one sucks. My keyboard's better. Why'd you get me a keyboard? I don't need a keyboard. I don't want a keyboard. What am I going to use an extra keyboard for? It's, it's PS2! And I don't mean the PlayStation 2 for all you people who just started computing with the advent of USB. Number five, Christmas tree ornaments. Okay, now I realize that some of you guys keepsakes, collectibles, blah, 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 blah. Obviously, there's an exception to this rule. If they love collecting those kinds of things, by all means, give them as gifts. But if they don't, don't give them as gifts. Uh, just, just not, unless they're into, it just... You know, Ponzi's really particular about the way she decorates her trees. I mean, like, she chooses her themes and everything. Like, this year, they're, it's all white. And as a matter of fact, apparently, uh, uh, the timer that we have plugged in to the wall, I might make an extra last-minute gift. A, a timer, an electric timer. Here, let me show you. Uh, I have it set to automatically turn off at midnight, but I can flip the switch and turn it back on. Uh, that's for safety, so that we don't leave it on all night accidentally. Uh, so I'm sorry that the, uh, the lights were extinguished uh, during the, the beginning of, of this particular video. Number six, anything edible at the last minute. Uh, you know, like, ooh, a Snickers bar with uh, holiday wrapping. Ooh, M&Ms with uh, M's on them. You didn't even customize them to my name, did you? Yikes. Cheap. And you can, be, you can be frugal and not come across as cheap. I mean, like I said, there's ways to, to, to prove that you were thinking, or at least trying to think, uh, if you were kind of caught at the last minute, and there are ways not to. Uh, number seven, and maybe this is just me, a magazine subscription. I know some people give them as gifts, but that to me is like... I mean, I'll get my own magazines, thank you. I mean, and I, I equate a magazine subscription different from an an, the annual of the month club um, because they, I mean, to me, they are different. Uh, you know, I, 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 the of the months tend to be things that 
um, you know, our, well, you know, affinities, I guess. Well, I don't know. I guess I'm wishy-washy on this one, but to me, a magazine subscription just says, oh, you found something on the floor and you picked it up and you decided to just give it to me. And you didn't even give me my first magazine. You just gave me a little card that says I'm getting, now, yay, I'm getting National Geographic. I've got the channel. I, I can go to the website. Don't, don't give me that. That's not cool. Number eight, the, ad, the magic eight ball. Now, an exception to this rule is if you cram a magic eight ball in the stocking, and everybody knows that this stocking is the most important part of Christmas. Period. End of story. Forget the gifts under the tree. It's all about the stocking. The stocking can't have cheap junk in it like nuts and fruit. I mean, come on! Socks? Underwear? No! You don't cram that stuff in a stocking! You put fun stuff in there! It's all about the stocking! That's the only place you can put a magic eight ball! That's the law! At least here in the state of Washington on my street in my house. Number nine, any four dummies book. The last thing you want to do is tell a loved one that they're an idiot. Well, at least this way. If you're going to tell them they're an idiot, at least do so after you've been drinking, you know, eggnog without any extra stuff in it. Number 10, blank VHS tapes. And I suppose I could extend it to blank C CDs and DVDs. I mean, that's kind of like, oh great, you got it on a special. Cool. Thanks, I needed extra CDs. You see, uh, you, that's, that's the kind of reaction that you might get from people. Or you may, they may be good actors. Oh, dude, it's a DVD plus R. Man, I've only, been, I've only had the DVD minus R's for all these years. Oh, thank you. Oh, man, where'd you get these? DVD plus R's. Mm, just kind of painful. Nah, you know, again, I'm saying if you've given those gifts before, I'm not passing judgment. I'm just suggesting that they may not be the best things to give to somebody. Um, you know, I could be wrong. You know, it's just, it's, 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 you know, my perspective, of course. And you've got a different perspective. What, and I, I'm going to throw it out to you at this point, what do you believe are the best last-minute, relatively affordable Christmas gifts, or just last-minute Christmas gifts, or holiday gifts, or birthday gifts, or gifts, and the worst? I mean, literally, you open it up and like, wow, a wallet! Yeah. It's just painful to think about. I mean, I know that's not, it's not the season... To give. It is the season to receive. I'm just offering suggestions so that the gesture is well appreciated and understood when you give the gift that you've put some thought into it. And if you haven't had time to put some thought into it, at least it makes it look like you've put a little bit of thought into it. You know what I'm saying? Maybe I'm out from left field here. Maybe people like getting uh, blank VHS tapes uh, for uh, gifts. Not me. Anyway, if you've got any other suggestions, uh, top five lists, top lists, lists, ideas, whether they're related to the holiday season, technology, not, doesn't matter, any kind of top list that you might have, you're knowledgeable, you're an expert in something, right? I hope so. Uh, email them to me, chris at perillo.com, if they're interesting enough. I'd love to share them with the rest of the community. And the community that I'm talking about is talking right now. They're, they've been chatting this whole time, because uh, that's kind of what they do, uh, really, uh, it's, uh, no, that's not what they do. It's what they're doing right now. They're interacting with, with you through the video that we've recorded. But you might not have known, but we're streaming this live on the Internet. Well, not at the time that you're watching this video. The time we're recording it, it's streaming live on the Internet. We stream live every day. In fact, we're streaming live right now. So if you want to join the people in the chat room and you want to have your own name pop up here inside the live video feed or possibly in the recorded feed if you stick around with us long enough, well, you, you just got to stick around. You got to come and see us. You know, unless, of course, you're offended by any of these great or really bad gift ideas. Hope not. Oh, the place where you got to go to? Have you figured it out by now? Do I really have to point it out to you? Do I really have to say it again? Really? Fine. It's right underneath the logos here. You see the logos? Right underneath Ustream.tv there. You see it? 
That's the website you go to. Don't click that, 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 that little link, because that's, that's just, it's embedded in the video. You can't actually click it. Uh, Live.perillo.com. Well, E of VHS.